the CEO called me into his office and said, hey, we've got this division that's just doing horribly. We can't see a way out of it. And we know you have some background in exit strategy. Can you please come up with an exit strategy for us? And I said, sure, I'll take a look. I'll take a look at it. I crunched those numbers for about four weeks. I went through a few years of data and you know, basically it turned out to be a very simple product segmentation exercise. And then, you know, once I had a basic idea of where the numbers were failing us, I started talking to the individual heads of each functional area, whether it be that manufacturing, be that sales, be that customer service. You know, we had, we had several functions involved in that division, which was doing about $120 million at the time. So that wasn't shabby revenue by any means. And so what we all concluded from this was that factory throughput had slowed to a crawl because the sales team, which had way too much influence in the whole company, you know, hence the politics part, the sales team had done what sales is really good at, which is uh, creating a smorgasbord of products to satisfy each and every customer out there, right? So uh, every every sales guy that had a big retailer, whether that was Sears or, you know, back in the day, Circuit City or Walmart, I mean, they all always put pressure on the manufacturer to come up with something unique and different just for them. But the financial result of that political imbalance was that Phillips was attaching like a couple of hundred bucks to every large screen box that went out of the factory. And the reason is very, very simple. Any development process depends upon rapid throughput to absorb overhead, which can be quite expensive, especially if you own the factory, which companies did back in the days. And anything that slows down that throughput, and the same goes in software development, anything that slows down that throughput adds a really heavy burden to overhead. <clears throat> and so once this team that we had put together at Philips figured this out, the solution was incredibly simple. It was create a product line that we could differentiate for each of the big box retailers, but that the engine, the guts, the core of the product was the same. And so, uh, you know, what we did was simply learned how to turn on and off features in the software. Like a, like a modular sort of product process. Like there's customization, right. but it comes from a standard sort of set of groupings yeah. that they put together to make it easier. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and that is endemic in SaaS pricing today, right? I mean, you... <laughs>